What's up guys, as promised I'm going to do a quick tour of my whole collection so we're going to have a look at downstairs and some other bits and bobs and then we're going to end up here in the game room and I'll show you all the way around the room. Okay so this is the main setup downstairs uh, so just sort of standard 42 inch TV uh, we've got a PS3 down there and a uh, PS4 and a fairly decent Sony amp in there and uh, just around the back of the TV here we've got my ooh you're plugged in and a couple of hard drives, NAS hard drive and stuff uh, so yeah all the NAS hard drive and everything's linked up with the OUYA uh, over here we've got my PS3 collection which you'll see has slimmed down vastly since you last saw it so I don't know how many's there I'd guess about 180 games left all in all um, slimmed down massively most of the box set's gone uh, here we've got um, various books, so like Street Fighter, Capcom, art books, we've got the Mean Machines, Essential Sega Guide there, uh, the Zelda Hyrule Historia, various other bits and bobs, we've got the, um, the Push Start Art of Video Games there, which is a fantastic book, uh, Commodore Amiga Visual Compendium. I might do another video just having a look at these books uh, separately at some point. But yeah, that's pretty much it for here. Um, in the drawers around the TV, we got various controllers for PS3, PS4. Got a couple of Move controllers there and adapters. Uh, my Mega PS4 collection. Um, only really collecting PS4 stuff that I really love. Selling on the rest. And we've got my um, PX5 headset there for the PS3. And I can't remember if there's anything. I think that's just DVDs. And yeah, just various bits and bobs in there. Right, so under the bed, we've got one of those gas lift beds, so it lifts up. Uh, there's a ton of stuff under here, so box at the back there. You can see we've got a load of big box Amiga stuff and a couple of PC games. All sorts of like peripherals and accessories in that back box there. I can't really be bothered to sort of lunge over there because it's, you know, a bit of difficulty. But we've got a couple of... Um, Quick shot joysticks there, box for the Xbox 360, PSP, PS3, just various console boxes. Uh, we've got some big box PC games there. Um, that's my my USB mic box there. Um, PS1 and 2, you can see that I think last time I showed the collection I had about 200 and something PS2. You can see now that's just tiny, there's very few left. And PS4 had well over 400, so that's, I don't know how many's there, I'd guess like maximum 100, so we've probably slimmed that down by about 300 games. We've got some original Xbox stuff there, and uh, a big crate of um, handheld stuff, so that's like PSP and DS and 3DS. Right, so now the main event, the game room. So it's tidy-ish, so it should be alright to show you around. So, um, quick look around here. Um, that's the main cabinet there where you normally see me sitting over in that corner so we've got the LCD there uh, we've got a ton of the missus stuff in the corner there we've got a little click clack sofa bed that I use to game and also if uh, we have guests or whatever I can sleep on that um, but yeah let's have a quick look round so starting over here on the wall we've got the uh, Sonic artwork that Matt Soul Funk Retro did for me um, which I won the competition um, we'd have like a signed Buffy poster there because Mrs is massive into her Buffy she goes to all the conventions and stuff um, so yeah sofa bed where I sort of sit and game we've got the uh, little footstool there as well which has storage in which I'll show you in a sec um, we've got some various bits and bobs that I like use for uh, recording gameplay and uh, I don't think you can see that in the light but it's like a Goonies map thing little Sega sign there, just bits bits of crap. Uh, so main setup with the TV, we've got LCD there, I think 32 inch and a little sound bar, which just does for the room really, it's easy. Um, I'd love a CRT as well, but it's just space, it's, it's not going to happen. Um, that's running nice and around on the snares, which is running on um, the Retron 5, or rather Super Famicom I should say. So we've got the Retron 5 there, We've got N64 and Dreamcast set up, then we've got uh, Wii, then we've got the Xbox 360 and on top of that you can see the um, PC Engine with the Turbo Overdrive inside 
and back there we've got the PlayStation TV so I can stream my PS4 up here and then we've got my Japanese Saturn um, just over here you see we've got the power line adapters so everything's networked up so the 360 and the um, PlayStation TV and everything are just plugged straight into there so that I don't get any lag then going over to where you normally see during my videos is the cabinet and this little um, storage unit so storage unit we've got a couple of records up here so my Streets of Rage 1 and 2 data discs records and uh, a little parappa the wrapper 2 7 inch there uh, we've got PS2 there and we've got my um, modified Xbox with uh, coin up 7 on uh, that Xbox 360 is JTAG I should have said earlier um, then we've got just various accessories and stuff so we've got a ton of uh, five boxed um, N64 controllers, Wii stuff like a classic controller um, various other boxes, we've got Saturn, we've got a wave bird there, more Saturn uh, just for various bits and bobs um, a few Dreamcast controllers, uh, Game Gear yeah just various bits and bobs there nothing too exciting uh, we've got a SNES arcade stick there and I think this is just yeah SNES, NES and sort of GameCube controllers just basically the Nintendo controller drawer there uh, next one down is a load of um, PS1 and 2 controllers and some other bits so we've got the 360 pad there um, one back there we've got a um, quite nice PlayStation arcade stick which I got at the booter for fiver lovely and I think that one's for PC just for sort of gaming on PC uh, and then at the bottom I think is yeah quick shot stuff so we've got a couple of pythons a couple of mavericks a uh, mega mouse and a couple of light guns there just basic amiga slash mega drive controllers uh, so if I come back a bit you can see the main cabinet so it's pretty jam-packed but I think I've made quite good use of the space um, just got rid of a load of N64 stuff had a little clear out so we uh, made some room and moved some stuff around so at the top there we got another arcade stick the Tatsunoko vs Capcom for the Wii uh, we got Nintendo 64 box for the one that's under the TV we've got a Mega Drive box and it's actually in the box and same for the next one along the Super Famicom that's in the box currently uh, we've got a little Game Boy sort of shop sign there and behind that is my PC Engine box just pop that back Excuse me. Uh, we've got a little um, Luigi stood in front of my Dreamcast box. Uh, we've got an NES which is in the box currently because I generally use the Retron 5 for NES and I can always whip that out if I like. And then we've got the box for my Razer Atrox arcade stick. Uh, next we have Mega Drive stuff. So this is three deep. So generally like I put my favourites near the front. Um, so yeah, like Streets of Rage, Toe Jam and L, just, just the general classics. It's, I've got so much Mega Drive stuff now that it's sort of filtered onto the next level. So if I just open the cabinet. Uh, so we've got another two layers of Mega Drive and there's some um, Master System stuff at the back there. So that's, uh, yeah, it's kind of getting getting more and more that the space is taking up the Mega Drive stuff um, we've got a couple of little figures there, we've got the PS Solar uh, for the Mega Drive which has been opened, it's just in its like blister pack uh, we've got the Sega Hard Girl Saturn figure there um, looking awesome in between all the stuff we've got a little, um, I think this, I did a video on this ages ago, one of my first videos but this is like a lipstick display thing so I use that to put all my game uh, handhelds in um, so we've got various Game Boys, Game Boy Color, there, Game Boy Pocket we've got the Donkey Kong Game & Watch which is the one I had as a kid uh, just a spare VMU there Game Boy Micro which is an awesome little console and we've got my uh, pretty minty Game Boy original there in a Sentinel case and then what we got back here, we've got a few random bits uh, a couple of signed games We've got uh, three, um, what do you call it, 
Grand Theft Auto games on the PS2 sealed. Various consoles, box there, Game Boy, Mike, uh, Game Boy Advance SP, sorry. Uh, we've got the Famicom Game Boy Advance SP, which is one of my favourite consoles looks-wise. It looks absolutely fantastic. We've got the Game Watch Ball, which is not the original, it's the... Um, Club Nintendo one. Then uh, over here we've got my Game Gear collection, so that's three deep as well. Uh, yeah, some really awesome games there. And just a couple of randoms like uh, Japanese uh, Wario Land, Japanese Echo the Dolphin 2, and then like a small collection of Lynx games, and still no Lynx. Um, next down is N64, so we've got. Uh, load of N64 games, there's some Japanese in there as well like um, uh, Sin and Punishment and some others so that's too deep and then just a couple of my favourites at the front, Golden Knight and Diddy Kong Racing I've uh, been getting really into my Game Boy stuff so we got uh, all minty Game Boy games uh, Game Boy uh, Game Boy Advance there, Advance Wars 2, which is my favourite Game Boy Advance game, it's probably one of my favourite handheld games of all time, it's absolutely fantastic but yeah, just games I had as a kid, nice and minty. Uh, I sometimes switch these up to w which way round I have them, so they're on display. Uh, behind there we've got a load of uh, Super Famicom games. And I think behind there, yeah, we've got SNES. So we've got like Turtles, uh, Tournament Fighters and, and Zelda, NTSC, and then some PAL games. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking what's behind here. Behind there is a load more Game Boy stuff. Uh, I think my NES stuff is back there, but it's quite boring, so I won't bother delving into there. Uh, over here we have some little accessories. So we've got my multi-tap for the PC Engine, uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color console, Wonder Swan console, and my uh, six-button Avenue Pad box for the um, PC Engine. Great little controller. Then we've got my small collection of PC Engine games because I have pretty much sold them all off because uh, I have the Turbo Overdrive but I have kept a select few and then we've got these little sort of business card holders that just hold the um, any loose Hue cards that I've got which is a great little idea and then we've got my small collection of Neo Geo Pocket games uh, it's a very young collection um, loving Metal Slug that's a really really cool game uh, we've got Sh Samurai Showdown and uh, Card Fighters Clash there loose and uh, we've got a Ken little minifigure on top and then uh, the one that you all know, of course, is my full pal Dreamcast collection. So, uh, yeah, just just all pal. And then we've got like some of the demo discs back there. We've got Alien Front Online box set for NTSC. There's a little cami figure there from SNK vs Capcom. And then uh, going down further, we've got the rest of the pal stuff. We've got the Planet Ring box set there, uh, a little Lakuma figure. Couple of great import games, Zero Gunner 2 and Ikaruga. Zero Gunner 2 being my favourite Dreamcast game. And then behind here we've got Shemu 1 and 2. And we've got a load of the recent indie games there. And then a load of the recent indie games in DVD cases. Plus a couple of Japanese games um, that were official releases like uh, Trigger Heart Accelica and some others. We've got the Sega Hard Girls uh, Dreamcast figure there. Then here we've got. Um, PS Solar for the Dreamcast and uh, the Sonic 10th Anniversary um, pack for the Dreamcast. Uh, then we've got a load of uh, Saturn games back there. So, um, yeah, quite a few Japanese Saturn games. Um, in fact, back over here behind this, um, behind this stuff is a load of PAL um, Saturn games. But I won't bother to get them out. I mean, you can roughly see a stack of them down there. But there's nothing too exciting in there. Um, yeah, we've got the uh, Saturn Multitap, the Bomberman one. Um, a couple of great games up there that I've recently picked up. Princess Crown and Soku Garentai. We've got Garden Heroes there, which is a wicked power game. Uh, then we've got... Um, my two uh, fairly recent pickups, which is the two unreleased games, uh, Repros, so that's Propeller Arena and Half-Life for the PAL Dreamcast. Then we've got uh, my Japanese Dreamcast games, so some great exclusives in there like Guilty Gear X. Um, yeah, some really, really good games there. And then we've got a very small collection of NTSCU exclusives, which I am slowly working towards picking up. 
Uh, and then over here we've got my collection of RAM packs for the Saturn. Um, yeah, we've got quite a few in there, so highlights being sort of X-Men vs Street Fighter, Dungeons and Dragons collection, really nice condition. I'll probably do a Saturn collection separately, so I won't go too far into those. Um, first draw, we've got um, a few loose Mega Drive and Genesis carts, so I don't really have many loose. Um, my my NES collection which is mostly loose so we've got like three piles there my one Famicom game uh, Mario Brothers then we've got a ton of SNES so there's a couple of NTSCU in there which you can see like Zelda there um, and uh, mostly Japanese and there's a few PAL in there um, and we've got the converter to uh, use on the SNES. Uh, we've got my loose Game Gear games there and then we've got loose N64 games and then second draw down is just sort of quite a junk draw really I mean there's Game Boy games there, a ton of loose Game Boy games and Game Boy Advance games and then we've got a few Game Boy Advance SP consoles loose, uh, we've got a DS XL um, Game Boy Advance, a few DS's, what's there, five different coloured DS lights there. And then, yeah, just random bits and bobs, like adapters, accessories. Um, we've got a couple of the old um, vibration packs for the Dreamcast there. Just spare manuals. We've got a tub of um, memory cards and just, like, extension cables and all that kind of stuff. So, that's it, really. Um... Got a little sneak peek at some new pickups there. So coming around here is my little Fallout Shrine, which is awesome. So we've got uh, the Fallout 4 Pip-Boy Edition. Uh, we've got the Fallout 3 Collector's Edition there, lunchbox, which I love. I love that. Like I said, I've sold off most of my PS3 um, big box stuff, but I kept those two, uh, this and New Vegas, because I just love these games so much. Um, We've got Fallout 4 soundtrack there, and over here we've got um, Fallout New Vegas, the collector's edition, which is, if I can get it on camera, is number one of 6,650, so that is awesome. Uh, we've got the Fallout bobblehead there, which is from the lunchbox. Uh, back here we've got like a little history of Fallout book. We've got the Fallout 4 Collector's Edition Guide, which is really cool. And then we've got some like art prints that came with it. And then over here we've got the uh, Charisma Bobblehead, which came for, with the, um, the Pip-Boy Edition as like a pre-order bonus. Then we've got a couple of pop vinyls, which I'm not really into, but they just went so well with my little shrine here and they were really cheap, so I thought why not get them. So we've got like... Um, uh, I guess that's Vault Boy, I think, and then we've got uh, like the Lone Wanderer female there. And we've got the little Brotherhood of Steel statue that uh, Ben from Game of Geek World kindly sent me, which is awesome. And we've got a little bead art, little Vault Boy that um, Millie, my friend's daughter, made me. Uh, so coming down, we've got little uh, Ezio figure there, we've got a Dreamcast gun, that's the House of the Dead one, we've got the box for my GP2X Wiz handheld console, uh, my Fallout 4, uh, sorry, Fallout 3 sneakers there, and we've got um, my signed Pia Solar strategy guide there, and my, um, what do you call it, the first edition of the Dreamcast collector's guide from the Dreamcast junkyard, then we've got all sorts of Dreamcast accessories and bits and bobs, loads of controllers, um, yeah, like a ton of controllers. That's the box for my um, Dreamcast Sega Hard Girls figure. And yeah, just more like VMUs, bits and bobs for the Dreamcast in there. Uh, next one down is GameCube and Wii, so Wii's at the back. Um, so not many, I've thinned that out as well. So we've just got a small selection of GameCube and Wii games there. Um, Next we have the full collection of PS2 Street Fighter 15th Anniversary controllers. So uh, I think there was two or three released for the Xbox, but these are all the ones that were released on the PS2. Then we've got the um, controller and virtual tennis pack for the Dreamcast. Uh, we've got the bass fishing set there, um, which is fucking really hard to find. I know loads of people just 
struggling to get hold of that at a decent price at the moment. Uh, randomly, Kid, Kid Icarus Uprising for the 3DS, and uh, the box for one of my ASCII pad FTs for the Dreamcast, which are grey little pads for fighters. Uh, we've got a couple more VMU here, boxes, I don't know, they're empty boxes. Um, so back here, we've got a stack of uh, boxed DS's and DS lights and stuff. Uh, my Sega Hard Girl Saturn figure box, and then my boxed Game Gear, uh, which is in pretty nice nick, not too bad. Uh, we've got my GameCube here, so I got rid of all my GameCubes uh, since you last saw, and just kept this one, which is the Pearl uh, Mario Smash Brothers one. Then we've got a PS2 there, and um, that's the Grand Theft Auto San Andreas soundtrack box set, which is awesome. I'll just quickly show you in the um, in the stall here. So we've got um, Xbox 360 uh, Tekken Tekken 6 pad uh, fight pad there. Um, so yeah, I mean that's wireless. It's fairly decent. It was really really cheap. So it's just nice to have a second one for multiplayer. Really, ton of controllers in here. Like it's not even worth digging through. But there's just basically the controllers I use the most often so we've got like Dreamcast, Mega Drive, um, Super Nintendo, we've got like my two, if I give this out, sorry, two ASCII pad FTs for um, the Dreamcast, that one and, and a blue one, um, yeah like Saturn controllers, um, Xbox 360, that's the uh, Avenue Pad 6 for the PC Engine, which is an awesome little controller. Just see if I can find the other one, because that is a really cool controller. Oh look, there's Wii there. Um, that's the other ASCII Pad FT for the Dreamcast. Oh, there it is, and that's the other six-button controller. It's Hori Fighting Commander PC for the PC Engine. That's another great one, so it's nice to have two six-button pads there. Uh, so, moving on, just lastly to this corner, if I just close the door over, uh, so we've got like the little corner with my uh, arcade cab bar top, which used to be next to the cabinet there, but I moved it. So we've got a little, little stool there so I can sit and play games. So, on top of the bar top we've got my Samba at the Amigo uh, Maracas set for the Dreamcast. We've got randomly a little Boba Fett riding a uh, little speeder bike there. Um, this little picture of Final Fight. Um, can't remember where I got that randomly. And yeah, my bar top with uh, Blue Elf Jammer board in with 485 games. That's running Darkstalkers uh, at the moment. Um, yeah, love that. Absolutely fantastic. Custom made Cadillacs and Dinosaurs marquee, which is my favourite arcade game. Love it. So underneath we've got like a, a hi-fi unit that I use as storage, which is actually a really good idea. So I can get the bar top up to sort of playable height for the bar stool, and I can have this extra storage underneath. So uh, starting here we've got the um, Sega Saturn Virtua Stick there, which is awesome, absolutely love that. Uh, we've got a loose um, Sega Dreamcast arcade stick, which again is very well made, love those. Uh, here we've got my uh, Razer Atrox for the Xbox 360, which is an absolute beast. Uh, if you've seen my previous video, I show that, and it just opens up and it's massive, and it's got um, it's got a ball top inside. You can see I've got the blue bat top on there. I've got a pink ball top inside, so I can switch it out depending on what game I'm playing. Love that arcade stick. Got it for an absolute steal. Uh, we've got my Hori uh, Fighting Stick 3 for the PS3. Uh, which I got ages ago, very early on in the days of the PS3. Then we've got a, a boxed Dreamcast arcade stick. Um, I think one of those arcade sticks for the Dreamcast I'm going to mod at some point. Uh, we've got a boxed uh, arcade power stick for the Mega Drive. And then at the bottom we've just got my loose Super Nintendo and a loose but modified Mega Drive with region switch and 5060Hz switch. And just lastly guys, above the TV here, I didn't show you, but I've just recently put this up. I got this picture at Play Blackpool, and it's the Day of the Tentacle poster there, which is just absolutely brilliant. Absolutely love it. So that's, yeah, pride of place on the wall there. 
So that's it guys, uh, thanks for joining me to have a look around the room, hope you enjoyed that and you get a feel of kind of how the room looks now and we're kind of settled in nicely to the house. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one, cheers.